Hello, geeks and gamers. Matt Lumpkin here with True Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com. And today we have a really cool treat for you. We have uh, a box breaking of Dreadball Kickoff Edition. Uh, Dreadball is made by Mantic Games. And I guess I'm going to have to stand it up and cheat and open it this way. Uh, it was a very successful Kickstarter. Uh, it takes place in the future. It's a futuristic sports game. I got to take a look at Dreadball, some of the Dreadball contents last year at Gen Con, and I was very impressed with it, and I'm so glad that we got it to look at. Uh, and this is a box breaking, so I've never, even though it had a successful Kickstarter, I've never really seen the contents of it. I didn't follow it that much intentionally, just for that reason. Uh, because I was dying to do a Kickstarter. A Kickstarter. I was dying to do a box break for um, So you kind of get this feel right from the cover. You kind of get a, a Tron soccer, football, maybe basketball type of feel from this game right off the bat. So popping it off, very first thing we see is the Dreadball Futuristic Sports. Upgrade your game with the kickoff extra time this card includes referee ball free downloadable uh, the MVPs the different characters that are MVPs how about I zoom in a little bit in case you've never seen this before there how's that you have the enforcer guard uh, Reek Rolot Gorham Ironstone Slippery Joe Lucky Logan, number 66, and John Doe. Uh, and then you have a Mantix Point card here for fixing your Mantix Points. And on the back you have more of them. And you have the Rule book. We'll zoom out a little bit so you can see it. Basically, it's the cover. Uh, inside the rule book, very front, is a guy running down the field getting ready to score a goal, it looks like, or a point. We have humans, Goblin Jack, Orcs Guard, uh, layout of the board, real quick. More layout of the board, which, by the way, I didn't realize the board was going to be cardboard. I thought it was plastic. Uh, front arc, all kinds of different things. So the game looks like it's going to have some stuff and then you have the rules start on page 8. You have dice rolls, dice rolling sequence, doubling, coaching dice, coaching dice, interesting, launching the ball, oh, starting the game, how to start the game, scattering the ball, so maybe it's like basketball where you have to do a jump, a jump for the ball, uh, ending rush, actions, free actions, Moving on to the pitch, there's pitching in the game. Armor checks, steel, jack, throwing a strike, standing up. There's a plethora of rules to this game. So uh, it's going to probably take us a little bit of time to get to our next video where we actually show you gameplay. Well, especially since we have to probably assemble models and paint them. Uh, well, we're going to start by looking at the board. Probably, well, it's just like that. Zoom out a hair for you. Try and kill the glare. Uh, the board is. Oh, do I have a tape measure handy? Well, let's grab some. Something that many of us are going to be familiar with. Here's an old beat up paintbrush. That kind of puts the board in perspective. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know how big the board is. I'm going to guess these are one inch, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's 24 inch playing board. Uh, right off the bat, you have uh, punch outs, dread ball punch out markers. Mantic Games dice, which that's what we're going to look at next. Of course, I got to roll them. A 
counts. See how loaded they are. Well, how much they like me. That's all it counts, right? How much they like me is what counts. Oh, uh, they're not so great. Well, that was only roll one. I might have to send it back. Ooh, that's much better. That's much better. Who wants to play a game? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Let's see if I can do better. They're warming up to me. They're warming up to me. All in all, these dice are fairly balanced. That's good. Now the minis. And the pieces. So. What I know about Warp... What I know about Warp Pad. Wow. What I know is that these are set in the future. And we're going to zoom in here. Oh, we'll go to a button. Slide these off to the side. This is one of the human enforcers. Or maybe it's just an enforcer. Without his arm. Again, as you would expect from Mantic Games. There's a tremendous amount of detail. And you might notice that they have the round on the bottom so they can go into a base, another base. Um, now, there is something that I am finding unusual from Manta Games. There's a lot of cleanup um, on these models from the sprue, but that's okay. I've got children. Here is. Well, here's an orc. Term so you can see better. An orc without the head and without an arm. Well, let's see around this guy a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure what he is. I'm going to say he's an enforcer, he's just a bigger guy. What do you think? Enforcer and an orc. Look at the size of that fist compared to this guy. Holy cow. This guy's a brute. Then you get three of them. They are all the same pose. And then you get the human-esque players. Which will zoom out. Well, let's finish looking at all the guys. I'll, I'll kind of organize them as I go. Another orc running and pointing. There's a... Uh, those are probably goblins. Oh, here's one of the heads for these guys. Check that out. That's definitely an order. And here's one of the arms. That same guy. Another quarterback ish kind of guy. Uh, we'll zoom out here real quick enough. Put all the figures on the board together. So you get four pointing goblins, five pointing goblins, three orc, as I call them, brutes. Let's zoom up just a little bit more to get everything in. Look at that. Three running humans, three, uh, I'll call them linebackers from American football, and three guys look like they're getting ready to brawl. 
and those are the miniatures that come in the box set. Try to cut my finger here. These are all the little pieces bits. Now, one thing I like about these guys is they're going to go together fast. When we do a figure forge on this next week sometime, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 16 figures, if I know how to count. Uh, 3, 6, 8, 11, and 5, and 16. Yeah. And then you have, well, you have one of the important parts the ball, which I'll move these out of the way and we'll zoom in on it. ball is not very big and it shouldn't be because it goes next to a human or an orc like that. Um, you have these little orc slash goblin arms with the claws. Uh, you have the other human hands. You have the, the head of the goblin, which we'll put in here like this, real quick so you can see it. And again, you'll get to see a lot more of this on the figure forge when we assemble them. Oops, see? Hard to do this that way. Put that in there. Try and get it so it doesn't fall out. And maybe I'll have to. The problem is my thumb is too big and it's trying to zoom in on my thumb. Again, a tremendous amount of detail on these figures. And basically what you get in the box set of Dreadball is... The board, which I'm not going to open up here. All of the minis, which are highly detailed, have a little bit of cleanup. Uh, that's okay. It's it's a soft, firm, firm. It's a soft firm. Yeah, that's brilliant. It's a soft um, plastic resiny type of feel. So it's gonna sand off quick or cut very easily. In fact, I could probably, I could probably take care of most of it with the nippers while we're in, on camera. That, that's really about all it's going to take. That even you know my pocket knife can do the little bit of scraping I need to do. It's going to be pretty much that easy to do it. Um, and then there's always you know standard tools of file. An actual knife. All the arms and the pieces, the heads. So they're going to go together quick. Uh, I'm actually probably there's 11 figures, and these are going to go back to get. These are going to go together easy enough that I could probably put these together in 20 to 25 minutes. I would say, which means you could play your game within an hour of opening your first box. Uh, of course, it comes with the rules, and slide this over a little bit. The dice, which are clearly color coded, uh, which when we get that far, when we get into the gameplay, we will explain what the differences in the dice are. This has been a box breaking of uh, Dreadball Kickoff, futuristic sports game from Mantic Games. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click on the social media links on the right hand side of your screen if you're watching this on our blog. And that way you can follow us and stay up to date with all the videos and posts that we make on the blog. Thank you and have a good day.